How's it going guys, Joshua with Tracks RC, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I keep my bodies looking good even after I've absolutely destroyed them. So in this video I'm going to be using this body, this is for my red slash two wheel drive DXL. It has a lot of cracks in it and there's a lot of chipped paint, so obviously I cannot fix the cracks, but what I've done to kind of keep the body together is use zip ties along the cracks. Uh, there's one right here that I patched, and then there's some across like right here in this area. Area. So that I kind of already fixed, but as you can see, there's no paint right there. And that's just from crashes and crashes and the paint just uh, flaking off. There's a lot of clear spots on this body. So in this video, we're just going to be fixing all the clear spots and making this thing look like it just had a fresh paint job. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take off this uh, Proline light bar that I have because I need to take the wire out so that I don't get paint all over that. And I guess now that I'm looking at it, I don't really need to take the actual mounts off. I just need to take the light bar itself off, which just comes off with a screw on this side and a screw on this side. And then I can take the end of this plug out. So I can just slide the wire right through. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so I got the light bar off and the wire out. So now that there's nothing on the inside, that's gonna hinder me painting it. So next, we need to get all the dirt off it so then the paint has something to stick to. And to wash the body, the first thing I'm gonna do just to get all the loose debris off is just take it outside to the hose and I'm just gonna hose it off. So as you guys saw, my body really was not that dirty at all. So washing it down with water really just perfect for mine. Um, if yours is super dirty, definitely put some more time into it. And make sure you use a brush, uh, maybe some soap, but mine was already pretty clean. So I'm just gonna dry it off. So to dry it, I'm just gonna use the air compressor. Uh, I really don't wanna use a towel on it or like paper towels because then the fibers and stuff will get on the body, which could affect the paint. I don't really know, but just to be safe, I just wanna use air to dry it off. Plus I think it would be easier to do air with with all like the little spots and stuff that this body has because I think that it would be kind of hard to get in like the little nooks and crannies of this body with a towel. So I think air is actually gonna be a better option for most people. <laughs> All right, so now that the body is all dry, I'm just gonna let it air dry outside just to get any leftover moisture that the air couldn't get. And then I'm also gonna put the can of paint outside just to let it become used to that temperature because it's pretty hot out and very humid, which isn't ideal for painting conditions, but because I'm just touching up, I'm really not too concerned. But if I was painting a brand new body, I definitely would not want it to be this humid outside. All right, so I got the paint and the body just chilling outside. I'm gonna leave the body out here for about 20 minutes in the paint. I'm gonna leave out here until I'm ready to paint the body, just so it has a lot of time to warm up and basically thaw out. So I'll put you guys back on in 20 minutes when the body is ready to be brought back in. All right guys, so a little bit of a change in plans. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to paint the body today because there's some rain coming here in the next hour. So right now I'm just gonna work on masking the body and then when I'm done doing that, I'll put you guys back on, show you how I did it. And then after I'm done showing you guys how I masked the body, I'm gonna wait a few days until we get some nicer weather, but for you guys, it'll only be a few seconds. So I'm gonna start masking the body and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. All right guys, so I just finished masking the body and as you can see, I did use a lot of tape to make like kind of a shield around the perimeter of it. And then I also masked off the bolts for the light bar mounts right there just so I didn't get paint on the threads. And then on the outside, I made sure to get all the holes for the body because this is a Floatech Fusion body. Um, from Proline, it has holes designed to let air escape to prevent the parachuting effect that you get with big bodies like this. And also on the outside, I made sure to put masking tape on the cracks that were already there just so that the paint can't leak through onto the outside of the body because I don't really want the paint on the outside. If I'm really being cautious, I could just put masking tape around the entire outside of the body and call it a day, but that just is too much work and I really don't think it's going to be that big of an issue for overspray since I have this entire shield on the outside. So now we just need to wait for the weather to be a little bit nicer so then we can go outside and paint it. 
All right, so it's the next day. The water's beautiful, perfect painting conditions. So I'm gonna throw this paint can outside, let it warm up a little bit. And I might as well just throw the body out there just so that they're all at the same temperature. Cause I'm, I'm assuming, I don't really know cause I'm not a professional painter, but I'm assuming that like changes in certain temperatures with everything can affect how the paint lays down on the body and how it adheres to the body. So just to be safe, I'm gonna throw these both outside, give it about 20 minutes and then we should be ready to paint. All right, so the body and paint have been sitting out here for about 20 minutes. So before we actually start painting, we need to shake up the can a little bit just to loosen up all the paint in there. Make sure I get a nice even coat down on all of the clear spots of this body. All right, so that should be good. Now we can actually start laying the paint down on the body. So that's pretty simple. Now, normally you would want to do multiple coats if you're doing like a full body that's brand new. But since I'm just touching up, I think I'm just gonna do maybe two coats or I might just get it all in one. So I'll put you guys back on when I get all of this touched up. All right, so I just finished the first coat. I think that should be good. So now I'm just gonna let it dry for around 30 minutes and we're gonna come back, check it, make sure I got all the spots. If I didn't, then I'm gonna touch them up again, let it dry for another 30 minutes and just do that until it's all covered. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and if I hold the body up to the light, you can see it's pretty well covered. There might be a few little spots, but I ran out of paint. So it's gonna have to do, we're gonna let it dry just a little bit more probably another two hours just so it cures 100 percent all right so the body is dry now it's still a little bit tacky though in some spots where i went super heavy so i'm not going to use the body anytime soon i'm going to give it a few days just so i don't mess up the paint job but now we can pull off the masking tape and see how it looks underneath <laughs> All right, so we got all the masking tape off and this body looks so good now. As you guys saw earlier, there used to be a big clear spot right down the side right here and it's just completely gone. You can barely tell it was there. And that's basically what it's like on the rest of the body too. So I'm very happy that I finally did this because I've been putting this off for years now. And this video right here is when it started to chip really bad. And that was just made forever ago. It's one of our original videos, but I'm glad that I finally Finally got it done because it just really brought this body back to life besides all of the cracks that it does have. So now I'm gonna throw the light bar back on. All right, so the Proline light bar is back on and I even did some wire management for the wire going to the back of the body so it doesn't flop around everywhere. And I hope the duct tape that I used holds because it didn't really hold too well last time. So now let's put the body on our Slash VXL and see how it looks all freshened up. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Definitely updated the look a lot. You don't see any clear spots anymore. That looks a lot better. Definitely happy with this. So guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like, share it with others so that we can grow our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so that you don't miss when we upload. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next video on Tracks RC.